Hello. Today we're going to talk about the Smart Snap used with Descartes. Now this is a tool that will aid the other tools that you're using. So if you're drawing a line or placing a cell using just MicroStation, if you add Descartes to it, you'll have this feature for the Smart Snap. If you're using products like Inroads, Geopack, Ecosim Building Designer, these will aid you in drawing whether it's cells, symbols, parts, uh, all these things can be controlled with the Smart Snap or assisted by the Smart Snap. I will be drawing the bottom of this wall, this wing wall, uh, the top of the wall, and there's actually a fence in here. It's very hard to see, but we're going to use the tools to assist us with that as well. Now, first, I'll turn on the Smart Snap, which is located right here, and we want this to the lowest point because I'm going to be doing the bottom of the wall. Now I could start drawing my line. We'll start up at the top here. Now I want to choose where my line is drawing because I can see in here there's a black void. Now if you imagine that there's a light projected from the scanner because that's what these dots are, uh, this void here is actually caused by a rock that's in front of the wall. Uh, so I don't want to draw this up and over that bump that I see there. I'm going to skip past that. So I'll start at the beginning of the wall and I can come to a spot here. Now I'm just picking anywhere on that wall. The cylinder that I have is set to look for a 0.2 of a foot radius and it's looking up and down the height of the cylinder is 30 feet. That's rather high for a 15 foot wall uh, but I'm purposely doing that to show you some other uh, tricks that I use. So now I'll just click along the bottom of the wall. I'm going to do this very quickly just to for demonstration purpose. As I look through these girders here I, I can pick the bottom of the wall. Now I'm going to switch to the top of the wall and this will now be the highest point. So I'll come come back through and draw this. We see here I, I'm picking down here getting this top of the wall. Now as I get here we see that the dot is going upwards here and it's actually getting the top of that girder. Now I could shorten this 30 up here uh, to compensate for that but the trick I use is just come down much lower in the wall and now it's only grabbing that high so you don't have to keep switching your settings back and forth you could just find different locations on the wall that fit that cylinder area. Now I'm going to come back and we're going to draw this fence top but I'm going to switch this from 0.2 to 0.5 so we're going to look six inches now um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I do realize this fence is right along the top of this wall. It's probably set back a couple inches. So I'm able to still use the highest setting but have my search range, uh, the cylinder area, wider. So now as I come through, just clicking once again along this wall, I now just drew the top of that fence line. And we could see it here in 3D how that looks. That concludes this demonstration.